Hi guys. I know it's been about two weeks since my last video and I have been debating on if I want to do another one or not or just kind of leave you guys hanging and I didn't want to do that. So then the stairwell again, my little beach thing. And I am sad to say that I hit what, five weeks? And it became a spontaneous abortion, a chemical pregnancy. Because my lines never got any darker. Um, I kept cramping, which, you know, is normal. Um, but yeah. So I decided to make this video for you. Um, part of my early morning school started. Um, I'm getting ready to get ready for work. I have a client today um, and it's cold <laughs> it's like yeah anyways so I thought I'd do this video today um, because today is one TPO I've got I got my peak day before yesterday so we started dancing that day um, had a lot of ovulation cramps most of the night from like 8 p.m. until like 11, roughly. I don't know, I was probably asleep by then. Sorry, my skin is all kinds of busted. I did a chemical peel on myself, because this pregnancy, it literally did a job on my, <laughs> it, it did a job on my skin. So I needed to get it back right. But yeah, so it ended in a chemical. So today's actually one DPO of the new cycle. Um, I was a little hurt. Everybody saw my husband's reaction. Everybody saw my reaction. Um, I just hope it's not another year and a half before we get something. I don't know. But, I mean, statistically, right after any type of miscarriage is you know, when you're like the most fertile. So we've been every other day... Um, we're doing, like I said, we're doing the sperm meets egg plan. So since I got my peak the day before yesterday, we danced that day. We danced last night. We're going to dance again. Then we're going to skip a day and then one more for good luck. And then the rest is just for kind of fun. I mean, it's all fun, but so yeah, that is what's been going on the last two weeks. And I do know I have some new subscribers and I'm going to say, hi guys, thanks for subscribing. Um, and I did see a lot of new congratulations. Again, thank you for that. Um, granted, my pregnancy didn't last more than like four days after I posted. But yeah. that is this journey that uh, I am on. And that's part of the journey. Sometimes I don't get nothing. Sometimes I get a, a slight line and there we go. I don't know, but yeah. So that's what's been going on. And like I said, I thought I'd just give you this, this quick video and keep you on what's going on. I've added, let's see, I added some CoQ10 to the mix, some DHEA, um, which I started taking like the day I start, I got my peak. Um, I have some progesterone cream that I started cycle day 14 and we're like on 17 because it says cycle day 14 after ovulation but I'm like my cycle is so weird I usually don't ovulate anywhere in between the 13th and the 17th anyways so but I just started because that's what they said so I do that it says twice a day but I only do it like once a day like once a night um after I get out of the shower at night so what else? I have my Vitex, I have my Fertility Tea, my Maca Root. I have so much things that everybody says, and hey, this is going to help. Um, there's that one that I don't have, is it the Myo Is it all? Is that what it's called? Something like that. I don't have that. I'm, I'm like, I'm taking like eight pills as it is, and they're not small pills, and I hate swallowing pills. So. If we're not pregnant this cycle, then I'll probably add it in next cycle. 
you know, why not? It can't hurt, can it? I mean, on top of everything else I'm taking. And I don't have a lot of caffeine intake. I usually have like maybe one coffee in the morning. Caffeine, my caffeine, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Caught me unaware. Um, my caffeine intake isn't really all that high to begin with. Go see in the house. Anyways, yeah, my caffeine intake isn't that high, so I don't think that's a factor. Um, I'm more worried about, because of my knee pain, that I have to take the ibuprofen. Um, and now that it's colder, my knee is killing me. But anyways, that's probably boring to you guys. So again, new cycle, one DPO, and I will probably start testing at 10 DPO, you know, like I do every time. And I will try to make sure you guys are a part of that and hope and pray. Throw it out into the universe. Me, me, me and my husband, why I should I say, every time I ovulate, I tell my husband, you know, it could be twins. I'm having cramps on both sides. I could be dropping two eggs. And he looks down at his junk and he tells his junk only one. And I'm like, you know, that it really doesn't matter, right? But that's my husband for you. I did love his reaction from the last video. I don't think he, like I said, I don't think he believed me, so... There we go. So we can get pregnant. It's staying pregnant. That is the, the problem. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.